Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. This particular video, I'm going to introduce three different characters. So I hope it all works. You know, I hope you'd be impressed. You know how it is. Here's the first character I'm going to introduce. Living Tank. Real name goes by Tank. Height 15 feet, weight 95 tons. Status villain and living vehicle. Base mobile, intelligence four brains. Behavior, tough, brutal, and sneaky. He's a good example of a jock. Lethality, highly deadly along with being all terrain. Weaknesses, he sometimes gets carried away. Powers. He can change into any vehicle he can think of, with his default form being a navy green colored M1 Abrams. He also has uncanny accuracy and can smash through most walls. Eyes and hair? None. Origin. One time, Olga was amused with the living vehicle Cassandra and decided to make her own living vehicle. After a while of hard work, Olga made a living tank with his own conscience, along with the power to change into any vehicle. She then commanded Tank to spread disaster across the default Earth, where he met and fell in love with Cassandra. Surprised that her creation can feel love, Olga gave him permission to befriend his new partner while destroying London, until they both got demolished by the muscular Invincible. Despite the lo living tank losing his job, he isn't worried due to his lo devoted love. Costume, none. Team, solitary, with Cassandra, or other villains. Horrible inspiration, tanks. Here's the next character, just so you know. Queen Pinchers, real name, Mathera. Height, 13 feet. Weight, 5.5 tons. Status, villain, and warrior queen of Giza. Base, Giza, Egypt, Mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior. Willful and vicious. She'll do anything to kill her opponents. Lethality. Extremely lethal. All her weapons are deadly. Weaknesses. Stab wounds, explosives, and being rivaled. Powers. She is waist up the body of a woman and waist down the body of a scorpion. Her upper arms have finger claws that, that wield twin machetes, and her lower arms are massive pincers. She also has a venomous tail, can climb on flat surfaces, high durability, and an acute sense of smell. Eyes red, formerly green, hair brownish black and shoulder length. Origin. The Feyre was the warrior queen of ancient Egypt and successor of the infamous Almakil. One day, Giza was overrun run by a massive swarm of Egyptian dune worms, and despite that she fought back, Mathera died later that day. Soon, the demonic Satana promised to bring her back to life in the form of any animal Mathera chooses. Mathera chose a scorpion, and she since remained as a human-scorpion hybrid. After being awakened from hibernation by the paranormal defense, however, Queen Pinchers ran rampant across Giza until being confronted by Consuela and Lady Stinger. Nowadays, Pinchers is known to team up with them whenever it's needed. Costume. She wears a bronze Egyptian breastplate. Teams, solitary, or with other villains. Or as inspiration, the Scorpion King. Here's the last character. Just so you know. Eternity. Real name, Timothy. Height, 6 feet, weight, 192 pounds. Status, hero, and keeper of Cloud Nine. Base, Asgolympius. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, charming, willful, and somewhat stubborn. He'll always show Peggy that he still cares for her. Lethality, only during a fight. Witnesses, he'll only die when the default dimension dies. Powers, he is destined to live as long as the cosmos. He also has great experience of keeping Cloud Nine in proper condition. Eyes, bluish gray, hair, white. 
origin. Timothy was once the old flame of the future deity Priantrum Nonsiculus, until he barely survived the destruction of the cosmos before this one. Afterwards, he was rescued by Goddess, who granted him immortality and promised him that he will only die if the cosmos dies. Timothy was later taken to live in Ask Olympias, where he got outraged that the Priantrum Nonsiculus married Zilver instead of him, and after a long argument, Goddess explained that they should accept changes no matter how severe. Since then, Eternity is spending his time making all of Cloud Nine pleasant, along with making the Priantrum Nonsiculus know that he still loves her despite everything. Costume. He wears a blue robe that goes with his beard and hair. Teams, solitary, or with the Alpha Gods. Or to inspiration, old flames. Well, those are the three characters I'm going to introduce. And, um... I just hope for the best of times, despite whatever goes on. And uh, I also figured out um, a few new uh, AI artworks for Madame Shear, which I'll eventually show at some point in the future. But I, I need to figure out how to make AI art work properly. So I need as much training as I could get from as much help as possible including relatives, you know? And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. You know how it is. I hope you guys have a fine Halloween and such, and until next time, in transmission.